Hi, Chef Vaughn here with Anvil Companies. We're going to do a brisket today. There's never a bad day to do a good brisket, yeah, especially when natural, uh, National Brisket Day is coming up uh, here next week. I want to get it going. So we're going to do a brisket today and, and see how it goes. So our brisket is a, is a great, it's a very tough piece of meat, so we need to, it has different grains going different ways. But, and we have a little bit of fat on top. We want that fat to get in there anyway, so that's what, we um, use that fat. We're just going to rub it with the, um, uh, with the rub that we make up, uh, which is about one part salt, one part pepper, and two parts sugar. So just rub it, put it on like that, pretty heavy. I'm not going to use this whole bag for sure, but I'm going to rub it on my like, mouth there. Rubbing it means just rubbing it into meat. I have smoked paprika in here to get a little start anyway. Turn it over a little bit. Get that other side. When you cook a brisket, the hard part about brisket is you have the, the small side and you have a thick side. So it's really hard to get it evenly cooked. So this is where they call it the, the burnt ends. That part down there is usually the burnt ends. So you want to make sure that's um, Nice and nice and done. It'll be overdone, it typically, but it'll be delicious. So you want to set this in the refrigerator, wrap it with some plastic, and put it in the refrigerator for overnight. And the next tomorrow, we'll uh, put it on the Napoleon barbecue and smoke away. Hey, good morning. We're back at cooking this great brisket today. We're going to smoke it at our Napoleon grill. We have the charcoal basket going. We're prepping it out inside here, so we can take it outside. It's raining outside, so we're going to get it ready inside. We have the luxury of rolling it outside on the patio. So we're going to just prep it today and put it inside and then take it out. So we're, we have the charcoal basket and accessory. We have some charcoal, love, love charcoal in there. I like I love charcoal. <coughs> charcoal charcoal, not the briquettes, uh, because they're, uh, they're more flavorful and they don't have that additional glue with it. So the brisket is, is beautiful and ready to go, so we're going to put that on the grill. I'm going to put the, the thicker side towards the heat and I want to do this offset. So, um, so just this burner's going to be on, the smoke's going to be bellowing over it and under it and around it. And I'm going to reset it um, you know, every half hour, make sure there's enough chips on it, for about three, four, five, six hours, whatever it takes to get that smoke in there. So it's, uh, it's the whole brisket, of course, there's juice on it. Maybe pour a little more later on it. I want to waste that. Okay, so the chips we're going to just um, put in where they're, where they're supposed to go for this first time around. Good. Fill that all up. And... Uh, and when we come back, from then on, I'm not going to open up this, this top, it's too hot. I'm just going to lay, put them on top of the charcoal from now on. It even stopped raining. We're going to take it off and put it in the, um, in the uh, carve it up. Uh, see how it looks. It's been in for five or six hours on the uh, barbecue for five or six hours. Looking great. Look at that thing. Beautiful. We're going to uh, mark it off a little bit more on the grill if you wanted to, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to go carve it up and see how it tastes. Time, time to tell. We're going to carve it against the grain. You always carve it, carve it against the grain. Here we have the grain going this way on this piece of meat at the top. So we're going to carve it against the grain. Some nice thin slices and see how it comes out. If it doesn't come, if it isn't done at this point enough, we finish it in the oven. Take it up, uh, wrap it with aluminum foam, put it in the oven for another couple hours if you need to. But all it's going to take, all the smoke is going to take is, is what it has. Okay, so we're going to carve and see what, see what the results are. Here's the, the burnt ends, they call it. See the grain is going this way, so you want to cut it against the grain. And uh, just the, the smoke filtering around it, let's give it a taste. Mm. Delicious. I'm probably going to take the fat out of the middle here. So I'm going to cut this top piece off and take the bottom piece off, cut the fat out before I finish it in the oven, but it looks delicious. So I'm going to take, see the fat right here? We're going to take it right between the fat. It's easy to cut through that. We're going to, it's a little warm. I'm going to take the, the two muscles apart. Biscuit's made out of two muscles. So there's the, there's one muscle, and here's the other muscle. So I'll trim it down a little bit, and we'll see. It looks really, really good and lean. Here's the grain you can see again, like before, and uh, see how it goes. Hey, thanks for watching uh, the video today. Thanks to Pulling for their uh, 
then for this wonderful grill that I get to cook on, it's a great product. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, click here. If you want to see more videos about Napoleon, click here.